Street, and I would drive through there for mm -hmm. Jones Drug. Yes. It'll be interesting to see who moves into that location that where they are right now, the intersection of oh. Macon and Cherry Street. It's going to be Fatback Tees. Fatback Tees is going there, huh? Yeah. So they're moving into town. Yeah. All right. I we'll be right down. I, well, he Bob may have, but uh, <laughs> I've been in the dark about it. Yes. Fatback Tees are moving into the location where Jones Drugs is moving out of on Macon right. and um, in Cherry Street as they move over to Broad Street so they can have a drive through. Right. So Fatback Tees is going to be there. Yeah. All right. So. A lot going on. Yeah, Toy park, drive, don't forget that. Yeah, the new parking lot looks awfully nice too. Across from Cafe yes, Green. She did a good job on that. Thanks. They're working on that curbing. I really haven't paid attention to it the past couple of days. I haven't looked to see how far they've gotten with it, but I had to deal with rain and making sure it was dry and all of that. So um, hopefully that'll be done. And we'll have some trees that are planted in there and some greenery and some plants. Um, so it'll look. Nice. Yeah, and one thing you want to emphasize again, you have those signs up, but people need to realize when you travel downtown, <laughs> pedestrians do. have the right of way. Yes. Inside those pedestrian crossings, you have to be stopped and let those people and cross the street. Bob, yeah. by the way, um, Wayne County, uh, there's going to be a little surprise down there. We got a new sign in, actually. We'll see. We're kind of taking bets in City Hall, see how long it lasts. But we have, a, it's a bigger, larger sign. You see them in some of the bigger cities um, that it actually goes in the center of that line of the street. And so I'm sure it'll take one car to hit it because um, I know even turning in, you've got to make kind of a wide turn. But there will be, it's a stop for pedestrians. I mean, it's a pretty big sign um, that will get put up probably next week when we get back. Um, that It goes in the center of the street. Are oh, you going to put a sign on the center of Cherry Street? Well, I'm not. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, our street department is. Um, but it's to, I mean, and it's something that um, the mayor and city manager and the commissioners kind of talked about people got to slow down so yeah um and i know um bob and i i think we actually got to walk across there and stuff. So i think it's because the train was there that's why they were stopped um but people still aren't yeah if, you, if, if you're going through downtown jessup and you have uh, pedestrians inside the crosswalk just, uh, oh i know well i'm like either like, gonna stop. I was like, i'm not sure <laughs> well i just walked out and there was yeah. a car coming i said no i've got the right way i'm gonna walk well, you may they're gonna hit right, me so it's, gonna be their, it's gonna be their fault <laughs> you may be right but you may be dead right <laughs> she's a lot braver than i so i stepped out and bob's like whoa no i'm not yeah, moving <laughs> see if they're going to stop. So. All right. If you have any questions or comments for Micah this morning, you can text them in at 912-427-3711, 912-427-3711. Micah, uh, get your voice ready again. Could you please, this is text in from Nicole, <laughs> could you please give the dates of the downtown Christmas activities? Yes, all of them, I guess. Well, There's let's start with tomorrow. Um, okay, so tomorrow, um, well, I don't know what the date is on that. But do they want the dates or okay, everything? Yeah, tomorrow, out? Thanksgiving, the downtown merchants, most of them right. will be open from 4 to 8 p.m. Right. And then Friday will be regular business hours, Black Friday, regular business hours. And then Saturday, this Saturday, is um, Small Business Saturday. But then Christmas is Thursday, December 3rd, is our tree lighting ceremony. So we've got a lot going on then. Um, Friday, December 4th, we'll also have Santa, Mrs. Claus, carriage rides, and the live nativity. Saturday, December 5th, will be uh, the Jingle Bell Run, Christmas Crafts on the Chamber Lawn, Santa, and the Christmas Parade. So there's a lot, a lot going on that Saturday. And that's the 5th. And then December 12th, um, we have Breakfast with Santa, Carriage Rides, and Santa and Mrs. Claus. And then Saturday, December 19th, is Santa's last visit from 10 to 12. So those dates I'll have posted on the city website, and then we'll also get them up on Downtown Development Authority's um, Facebook page. Okay. So we'll make sure, and we'll have, of course, we always have an ad in the newspaper, so those will go up in the newspaper as well. All so right. people know what's going on. Uh, somebody, oh, I'm sorry, Bob. Somebody yeah, I was just going to say thousands will go to that live activity scene again. That yeah. was just oh, yeah. a great event last year. And, I mean, just really asked the Christmas season. So hats off to those people who put that together. Yes, and they will only be doing it that Thursday the 3rd and Friday the 4th. So don't forget. Um, and they're there for a while. They're there for a couple hours from 6.30 to 9. So the 3rd and the 4th, um, that's the only time they'll be there. All right, folks want to know how would the big floats be able to turn from Broad Street if a sign's there in the middle of Cherry Street? That's a great question. Will it be a sign that could be like we could probably move it, move it yeah. easily instead of just down? Or we can maybe wait until after the parade 
is um, over and then we'll put it up. I'm sure they would have a way that they can put the sign in sure. and take it out easily mm -hmm. for occasions in downtown. Jessup has just right. sticking it down the asphalt and having to That's cut it out. That's a great question. I hadn't even thought about that. Okay. <laughs> so that was another question that just came in. So awesome. I'm sure they've got a plan for that. Yes, we'll talk about that. I'll bring that up. Um, make sure that might have been Ms. Francis. <laughs> worried about the rain, but um, no, we'll take that into consideration for sure. It's just, um, you know, our commissioners and our mayor and city manager, they want, you know, the high safety um, downtown, especially with those doctor's offices that have moved in um, and people walking back and forth, back and forth, you know, to Cafe Euro to get coffee or lunch. Um, there's a lot more traffic going on down there, and so people just need to slow down. I still have seen, you know, in the couple days that I've been walking downtown, um, people flying through. Yeah, I just can't believe so, we're going to fly through Cherry Street when you got folks trying to back out. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cherry Street, Macon Street, Baldo Street, Broad Street. You know, you got cars pulling in and out. You got people sure. walking across the street. You really need to slow down. Mm -hmm. And people fly through they and fly then fly through. over the railroad. I'm like, oh, gosh. It's no, through your car, no, but um, yes, yeah, just Slow down. Slow down. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Michael, we do appreciate you coming in this morning and telling Thank us what's you. happening in downtown Jessup uh, starting tomorrow with all the merchants throughout the area all the way up to Christmas Day. Yes. Thank you. And everybody have a great, great, happy Thanksgiving. All right. All right. The world famous Butch and Bob show has been brought to you by Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear, BNC Collision Center in Scriven, by Jessup Premium Storage out here on the Waycross Highway, and by uh, Parker Insurance Realty, located on Macon Street in downtown Jessup across from the Heritage Bay. It is 829, coming away in just one minute. The latest news from Fox News Radio. It's that time of year again, and the holiday rush is on at your Sears Hometown Story in Jessup with amazing doorbuster deals this Thursday from 6 p.m. until 11 p.m. and Friday from 7 until 7. You'll find aisles and aisles of doorbuster savings, including 55% off a Craftsman 230-piece mechanic tool set, just $89.99. And save 40% or more on name brand appliance doorbusters, too. Check out these unbelievable doorbuster deals. A Kenmore front-load lot repair for just $799, a 57% savings. A 